GAMERS! Sorry. GAMERS! Alright, so, I know what you're thinking. This is not a movie review channel. What? But, but, I am an average movie enjoyer. As one is. And the other day, I saw a great movie. A, f a fantastic movie. Not movie of the year, but it was pretty- it was pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, it was- <laughs> it went pretty hard. Yeah, I saw Deadpool and Wolverine, much like I think everyone on planet Earth. Yeah, like I said, it went pretty hard. For like, no reason. Like, it didn't have to, but... I kinda did, honestly. <laughs> you probably read the title of this video and you're thinking... Well... Are they gay? <laughs> Is Deadpool and Wolverine gay if <sighs> yeah that's why you clicked on this video i don't know now i'm gonna be honest i'm i'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all i went into that movie with pretty much the basic knowledge for both characters i have never seen a deadpool movie and i wanted to see the deadpool movies because i like his character i like ryan reynolds and i already knew i knew the basics okay just from just from a little word of mouth, you know? And I'm like, yeah, I think I like this guy. But I got caught up watching another little show you may have heard of, Shogun. You may you may have heard this little tiny show with a Mr. Sea oh Dog VA. Oh, so I got caught up watching that. And by the time I got tickets to see Deadpool and Wolverine, I did not watch either Deadpool movie. And I have seen a X-Men movie. I'm pretty sure it's the first X-Men movie. X-Men movie. A long time ago, but I do remember pretty much my basic Wolverine lore. I know the basics. And, you know, when I went to that movie, I said, you know what? I'm not a huge X-Men fan, okay? I like Hugh Jackman, and I like Wolverine. I'm sure there's- the more I hear about X-Men, the more I'm like, you know what? I, th I think I like this. You know what? I think I like this movie. And again, haven't seen- the Deadpool movies, but I'm like, you know what? I think I like this guy. And I just wanna I just wanna say I'm not one of those people who like see a movie on TikTok and it's like, oh my god, this is my entire personality. I hate that. I hate when people do that. I do like you see something on TikTok and you make it your whole personality without seeing the movies first or the or whatever. And I'm just I'm not doing that. I just wanna say I'm going to watch the Deadpool movies. I just take I have to finish a show before I start something else. <gasps> I, I can't start watching a new series without finishing the one I'm watching now. It just gives me, like, I don't know. It's, it, it really, really bugs me. And it would, it would send me into a deep coma. But, like, the Deadpool lore was, like, pretty easy to follow for, like, someone who just knew the basics. But I just, I'm going to watch the movies. I, I feel like I'm going to love them. <gasps> Everyone's been talking about, oh my god, is this gonna be the movie that saves the MCU? And, you know, it's, if you're an average MCU fan, you're probably thinking, like, the movies and shows haven't been that great lately. They, they've kind of been, like, genuinely really bad. And I haven't seen anything Marvel-related since... Loki and WandaVision came out like yeah I know some people don't really like those shows but like I like them I enjoy them I but everything after that was kind of like eh I don't know I didn't see the Marvels I uh, I didn't I didn't see the Falcon and the Winter Soldier I'm, and it I my I was hopeful because I haven't seen a Marvel or like superhero related thing in a while that like I've actually enjoyed like genuinely be like yeah you know what I watch that again or like I talk about that or like I'd recommend that to friends so I went into that theater just an average Joe and I came out of it you might say a Pulverine enjoyer I came out of that and I was like oh my god I Guys, I think I'm obsessed with this movie. And I know some people, well, at least from the reviews I saw, you know, like, there was one article. They were very mad that the movie wasn't taking itself seriously or, like, I don't know. It's just, it wasn't any emotional depth with, like, going into that. Even I knew without seeing 
the Deadpool movies prior that like, dude, this is a Deadpool movie. I'm not gonna go in it to have my life changed. I I'm, not, I'm not gonna go in to see a Deadpool movie to have my whole life just blown up and I have an existential crisis and I'm just sobbing in the theater. No, I'm going to a Deadpool movie. I'm gonna laugh at silly jokes about the woke people and uh, uh, um, uh, Gen Z and uh, blah, blah, blah. you know, I went in, I got my giant pint of root beer float, and I'm like, okay, let's go. I'm gonna turn my brain off for two hours. I'm gonna watch a silly movie, and I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna laugh with all these people in the theater. These people I've never met in my life, but we're sharing this one interest: a silly Deadpool movie. And I came out of it, and I was like, yeah. I just watched a silly movie, and I really liked it. And did it change my life? No. Is it my favorite movie ever? No. But I really liked it. But, um, okay, enough of- enough of th my Deadpool lore backstory of, like, what I know about Deadpool. I did not write a script for this, so nothing's really gonna make sense. So, the reason you probably clicked on this video with my- with my clickbait title. Okay, well, what about Deadpool and Wolverine? What's, what's going on with them? You know, I saw the trailers, I saw the teasers, and I'm like, hmm. This is a little, uh... Hmm, a little, uh... What do you say? A little... Gay? And I also already knew going into it that, I mean, Deadpool, he's... He, he's a queer icon. He's pan, or at least it's... He's just... He just doesn't care. If it's a man, it's a f it's a, f a woman. If it's a they, it's a them. It's a uh anything. Uh, he doesn't care, and I respect that. I honest, I respect, I respect that. He just doesn't care. He's Deadpool, and you're you. And if you want to make out with him, then that's let's go. I think he'd do that. So already going into, it, I was like, oh yeah. I mean, Deadpool, and you're gonna have Wolverine, who's like. You know, I mean, it's Hugh Jackman, so, like, he's, like, really hot for no reason. So, I'm like, yeah, this is... And also, like, those... Those Xbox controllers and, like, that... That Hot Topic necklace. Yeah. I went into that knowing... I think I'm gonna watch the gayest movie of the year. Uh, although, on Wolverine's side, I've never... Again, it's just one of those characters where, like... You never think of him as being queer but like it doesn't mean he isn't because like you know the you know maybe man has a midlife crisis and he finds out he likes men i don't know maybe one of those situations it's like when i see i scroll on tumblr and i see like joel x uh, like a giant pile of joel miller x like a male reader and i'm like whoa i never even thought about that so then you start thinking like but he isn't, but he could be, but he's really not, you know. It's kind of weird. Uh, if, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Wolverine! Is Wolverine gay? <laughs> but what about in the movie, though? It's just, so, Wolverine, they're, you know, if you don't know, their ship name, their couple name, their pairing name, whatever. I would assume it's been around for a while. Um, apparently, as I was reading, it's a rare pair in the fandoms, because it has, you know, Deadpool is also shipped with Spider-Man, and I think there's, let's see, there's Spidey Pool, Cable Pool, and there's probably more, but I think those two are, like, I think there's another one that I'm forgetting, but, like, there's, Wolverine is just that rare pair that you find, and you're like, oh, I never thought about shipping them before. <laughs> so I was kind of surprised to find out that, like, Wolverine was a rare pair, because after I saw the movie, I immediately went online and was like, okay, I need to see possibly some Wolverine fan art because <laughs> I've been converted. I do also like Spidey Pool. I think that's what introduced me to Deadpool was because I love Spider-Man. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, who's this guy? And um, so that was my first introduction. Deadpool was Spidey Pool. And I, I love them too. I think they're a really cute couple and I, I like that idea. But like, I'm glad the fandom is having its like, oh, my headphones just went off. Okay. I'm glad the fandom is having its resurgence. I'm glad it's, you know, finally getting some spotlight. I love when that happens to like a ship that like, I feel like nobody ever thought about. And you're like, oh my God. And people like me get to be converted to the Pulverine void. 
so i mean this movie just has i I mean it's if i was to explain this to a straight person it's really hard to explain how these two are (laughs) gay when i don't know maybe to an outsider might seem just like yeah they're just two guys fighting and they're like trying to kill each other all the time and like wolverine literally like tells (laughs) way to shut the up every five seconds i mean there's countless times where he's just thirsting over wolverine and like who's not but like i was like wow this guy is gay it just felt like it was catered to the queer audience and it made it like 10 times more funny because like he'll just look at the screen and be like i don't sound like my fellow gay people like um one of the gayest scenes that people are pointing out and when i saw it i sat back in my chair and thought wow this is really gay in a way that i straight people i don't think can understand so you know it's it's <laughs> the honda car scene they're having a little kerfuffle they're having a fight and they start fighting and you know you know on the right they start fighting and there's there's a lot of smiling and a lot of you know come at me bro but like in a in a flirty way and just just the way they're fighting and the <laughs> the, <laughs> the sticker on the car and oh by the way the song you're the one that i want is playing which is very interesting that's a very interesting song choice i would like to know who chose that are you telling me this is these are two straight men like if they didn't play that song it'd be like yeah okay but the the fact they played that song pushed it and you know that they were in that car for hours endless hours and I've seen a lot of people saying, you cannot tell me they didn't do something in that car. Again, I sat back and I was like, what is happening? It's, and I'm, I saw people talk about this too, how you, a straight person can understand how two men repeatedly stabbing, stabbing each other with very sharp weapons and tossing you around each other in a car and trying to kill each other is how that is homoerotic and i understand how and i wish other i could explain how other that that makes sense to people who don't understand it you know what i'm trying to say like if you're queer i feel like you understand what i'm trying to say but if you're not it's just this probably makes absolutely no sense also the nicknames they call each other sorry peanut bub okay why don't you just get married then? Uh, spoilers, but like, I'm assuming if you've gotten this far and you've you've seen the movie already, so, uh, but if you don't mind spoilers for the end, then like, blah, whatever. Um, uh, spoiler warning, and the ending scene where they, they sacrifice themselves and Wade goes in and he's like, you know what, dude, I'm gonna do this because you deserve to live a life and fulfill your dreams, but then Logan... He, he just comes on in and he's like, no, dude, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that right now. And he goes in, he breaks down that door. They hold their hands and Logan's shirt comes off and it gets really gay. And then they just, they obliterate into nothing together. But then it's revealed they actually lived. How? I don't know. I thought they exploded, but then I was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely a fake out death. And then more towards the end, we have we have where they're sitting together, then Logan walks away, all angsty, and then Wade's like, wait! I can't remember what he said, but he was like, wait! No, don't go! I was like, oh my god! Are they gonna live together? And guess what? They live together, or it's like alluded to by the end that they live, they all live together now, which I think, that's just perfect. Again, like, I, I don't know I don't know what's going on with Deadpool and his girlfriend. I don't know if they're gonna have, like, kind of thing where, like, Hi, th- this is my boyfriend, Wade, and this is Wade's boyfriend, Logan. Maybe it's one of those situations, but I don't know. Oh, also, the the opening. Holy... God! Please tell me if you have this, too, in the comments. I love... I love when 
the music they're playing is coordinated to the fight scene. So, like, there's a fight scene, and there isn't just music playing, but the, the fight moves are, like, in sync with the music beat. So, like, it's... Dun, dun, dun. And then as that's happening, the person is hitting the enemy at the same time with the beat, and it's it's in sync with the music. Oh my god, I love that so much. It flows so well. <gasps> bye, bye, bye. With what? I almost said Wolverine. With Deadpool doing <laughs> the bye, bye, bye choreography. I almost had that for a second. I'm like, oh my god, is he doing the Fortnite dance? But then I realized how brain rotted I was. I'm like, no, it's the in sync bye, bye, bye dance. You stupid head. Imagine if he did the Fortnite dance. <laughs> I probably would have left the theater. And uh, if you guys want me to talk more about, you know, this is my first dip into Marvel, which I, a huge, huge Marvel fan, but like, I like it a lot. Like, you know, Loki, Spider-Man, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want more videos talking about Marvel or more about Deadpool and Wolverine or more characters you want to see, just in quick little analysis or maybe a full analysis of just one or two characters and yeah, leave it down in the comments and uh, Share your thoughts on how you liked the movie, and uh, see you guys later. Bye, bye, bye.